Well, the Daleks are back again. Mm. Again. <laughs> yeah, okay. So from from brief... the menace that was on our TV screens to... Oh, God, not again. Yeah, the... Well, here's the deal. I mean, the thing is, the Daleks are coming back. Um, Doctor Who is coming back later this in September the f- in the first two-part story, um, which... Funny enough, um, one of the big rumours has been going around about will it involve the Doctor travelling back and saying when Davros was out to kill him, which, funny enough, in a minute, it's partly because I've met <laughs> Davros himself, Terry Malloyd, and he sort of said that to me, so... But we're not going to talk about the episode itself, because I don't want to prejudge it or anything. What I want to talk about instead is, in the trailer, um, there's a scene in which Clara is surrounded by Daleks, and this time, on like Asylum, you actually get to see the other yeah, variations of the Daleks. Yeah, now. We have the um, um, Supreme Dalek, which was in uh, Don't yeah. for Jenny then. We have the um, Blue Sphere, da- the Silver and Blue Sphere Daleks, which are most famously known for going across um, the uh, bridge in London. Yeah, I mean, there's pretty much like the classic 60 Daleks, or probably the props from Adventures in Space and Time. Um... We see the brass Dalek, which is the main stable of the current... Yeah, current... we're not sick of that look, yeah. aren't we? And I think there's a black... I think Dalek sex actually there, or the black Dalek's actually somewhere around. I thought... I thought for a second there, I thought it looked like... Um... No, yeah, it is Dalek sex. It's got a... I'm looking at this picture, showing a different, very different pictures of it. For a second there, I thought it was, mm. was one of the um, Paradigm Daleks. Yeah, which is... The thing I want to talk about is... Okay, so the basis of, unlike Asylum of the Daleks, we are going to see the other Daleks, you know, the variations. But the real question is, what the hell's happened to the new Paragon? What's happened to the new Daleks? Um, if we trade a Dalek, would you consider the worst of Series 5? <laughs> if, you ask me, if you ask me, the worst episode of Series 5 is probably Vampires of Venice, really. Uh, yeah, like, oh, it's filled up vampires, sea people, perception yeah. filters, because your mind just perceives what's there as just yeah, and the doctor. There. It was. It was. By... And he, yeah, saves a day by using the sonic screwdriver. Do you know? Well, no, he just flips the switch. That's it. That's oh yeah, because all... sorry, wrong episode. I was thinking series six. Yeah, <laughs> no, seri- <laughs> no, series seven. Seven, at once. series seven in power of three. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's another thing. It's not. It's really he saves the day. The other two dead weight. But anyway. Um... Mind you, we had a few good lines. Like, did you kiss her back? No, I kissed her mouth. Yeah. But anyway, getting back to the point. Yeah, I mean, let's be fair, the new Daleks, they've appeared, obviously, introduced in Victory of the Daleks, then again in Pandorica Opens and the Big Bang, which, including the Stone Daleks, which, funny enough, when I remember first seeing it, looked like a Dalek being covered in pigeon shit. Oh, Stone, so. Yeah. And the amount of history there was at the time, so. But for any more than that, and then, and then and there was... There was small, sorry, I was going to say, there's a small cameo in, um, in Wedding of the Song. And then the last time we saw them is Asylum of the Daleks. Yeah, and the um, drones are in the back. And everybody else yeah, is with brass Daleks. Uh, it's just, what the hell? You build it up, you introduce these ones, you give them names and roles, and you... You give them class, yeah. And the last time we ever saw them officially in any Doctor Who related media was the five... Um, the five-ish. The five-ish Doctors. Yeah, which is a comedy, first of all. Yeah, and it's like, Oh, do we need those three, da- those three Paradigm Daleks? No, we don't need them. Yeah. This is what annoys me a bit. I, I want to make it clear that the thing is, is that it's funny because every time when we say the Daleks are back, I mean, the first thing is that, yeah, it gets a bit monotonous and they bring them back every series or so. But m- the excuse is always, if there's a story to tell with them or you need them to tell a story, then I'm perfectly happy with that. The problem is, is that we have now had the what we consider the, well, I like to call the Russell T. Davis look, the gold bronze Dalek. I call them the, 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 for... the brass Daleks. Yeah, we've had that look now for over 10 years. I mean, Doctor Who's never been on for 10 years since it came back. And, you know, to be fair, if you're going to bring back a monster over and over again, if you're going to bring back that same prop, it's going to get pretty fucking old to just see the same thing. It's like, yeah, we know what it looks like. We know what it looks like from the front, from the back, and all that stuff. And I'm not saying it's a bad design or anything, I'll get to that in a minute, but it just gets so boring if you're just going to use that same look again and again. I mean, if you do variations, that's fine, but it just feels a bit overkill, really, considering that, you know, in this 
vitriol ideas. They had three of them, and two of them were different anyway, and they get rid of them, and then suddenly Asylum, oh, bloody hell, we're all still here. Well, I blame the Big Bang for restarting everything. <laughs> no, I blame the fans, really. There's the real... I mean, here's the thing. It, it, People... it, yeah, yeah. I'm about to argue, and it's like, yeah, the fans want it, but, or either that or there's some right there, Harry and writers out there saying, I got a good Dalek story that I want to show you all. Yeah. Okay. The, I mean, here are the things. The, Dal- the new design Daleks, they've had the main criticism. I've talked to people before why people don't like them, like real people, not online, because they don't trust those type of people. Um, yeah, you can't talk to any, yeah. anyone who actually cares. This episode sucks. BBC is paying me to review these, and these episodes suck. Yeah, and go kill yourself and all that jazz. But the, no, I've talked not to saying, people. Not, be- not saying any names. Yeah, exactly. The the thing is, I've talked to people before. Like, what what do you think of the new Daleks? And most people's complaint is, oh, they're too big, they're too colourful, the the back thing looks a bit weird, and oh, it's taking the menace away from the Daleks. Which, okay, in that order. First of all. The, the point is, when the Daleks came back, they were built to Billy Piper's height, essentially. So the eye store was like eye line to her. Yeah. So, so essentially, by the time you got to Matt Smith and Karen Gillan, they were like, well, a bit smaller than them. So it's like, well, we need something about their size. Otherwise, the Daleks are going to look like midgets. I mean, okay, you can get away with the Suntarans, but the Daleks, I mean, they can't be that small compared to the Doctor. And plus, their tanks with an alien inside, they can be any size. Yeah, exactly. Secondly, the colour scheme, which... I mean, to be fair, they've done this for years. I mean, we've had black Daleks. We've if you're going to complain Dal- about colour scheme, like we said before, look at the classic Daleks. First of all, we had a series of, um, not the pure Daleks, the Davros Daleks. Yeah. Or is it the way around? Not too sure. They were white and gold. Mm. White and gold Daleks. Also, yet silver and blue. So don't, comp- don't that complain is just bad. Oh, yeah. you got red, you got orange, you, you got you got red, yellow, blue, white. It's like, yeah, but they have names. They have that is classes. They have, yeah. they have a class to it. I don't bring the racist cat into it. You can't be racist across an alien it's, race. I mean, let's be fair, the dogs are racist anyway. So <laughs> they're fucking Nazis, okay? Yeah. So. No yeah, more. I mean, let's be fair. They've never done a pink Dalek, so they've never gone that far anyway. Um. Also, the whole thing with the back is people saying, what's up with the thing at the back and end of them, which is meant to be the weapon storage. I remember the idea is if they, if they were to come back, you would actually see that open up and that would change like the sucker or the rain gun into something else. But in actuality, it's for the actual actors inside to actually sit down. Well, probably. I mean, realistically, maybe that's it, but I, I'm not sure what it's like inside one of them. <laughs> I'll have to do that one day if I get a chance. Yeah. Um, I, think that's what you t- I think that's true. That's what you told me anyway. Yeah, was but it, essentially, or, or it's was it, or was it Mike? Mike, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, it's essentially the weapon storage, essentially. And the idea, and my favorite bit is, oh, they don't they take away the menace of the Dalek. It's like, when have you been afraid of this shape? When have yeah, I mean, when the Dalek, they, when, da, when Dalek aired, you were kind of scared of it because you didn't know what this was, and you honestly didn't know what it was. And eventually, when it comes to parting of the ways. They're not exactly a men. They were kind of scary, but they're not a menace. You was just another alien, and you and it, and the doctor knows them. Eventually, over time, you're like, oh, another Dalek, oh, another yeah. Dalek, oh, another Dalek in every single series. Series. Yeah. There, I'm, I'm and, just saying... new, and the menace was gone by the time the by the time the actual Victoria Dies came on. Before the actual show of Paradigm Daleks, mm. they weren't menacing. Mm. A Dalek came up came up to the person saying, would you like some tea? Where's the fucking menace then? Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm saying this in terms of like, you know, from day one, like when the very first Dalek story is like, people were like saying, that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? That design. So, I mean, everybody's made fun of it from day one. And quite frankly, and also you're not to, scared um, of the look. To actually break down, a, break down in a, a myth or this fact that goes around on the internet. No, the creator of the Daleks, which I can't remember the name of, Davros. No, the actual creator of Daleks. Oh, Terry Nation or Raymond Krusty. Yeah. The, I- the idea, they came up with the idea with the Daleks by moving around a salt shaker, that's only half true. They come up yeah, with the idea, on. then they demonstrated the idea by moving the salt shaker. Yeah. 
it's basically just say they don't you don't have legs or anything. They just sort of glide around on the floor. Yeah, that 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 myth is still going around in Doctor Who fandom, and it's like piss, it just annoys me about one. Yeah, but, but you know, whatever. But like I said, I mean, again, it's to say that all oh, this just takes away the menace of what the Daleks are. It's like you're not scared of the look of it; you're scared of what he does. Yeah. Like, in the first episode of Dalek, you saw what one Dalek could do. Wipe out an entire underground museum. And part of the way is the whole army obliterates yeah. Earth, basically. Pretty much. Yeah, and the fact that you have an Emperor Dalek who basically thinks he's God. Okay, maybe the threat of them, the menace, not really menacing anymore. Mm. We've actually come accustomed to what aliens could potentially look like. But mm. the threat of them hasn't, hasn't changed a bit. Yeah. But like I said, it's really down to what they stand for, what they do is more scary than anything else. I mean, the fact that they're so very much narrow-minded is in they're the best, no one is like them. If they're not like them, they're going to kill everything. God, introduce a Dalek to an internet troll, and there you go. I'll be a match in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, I mean, my biggest complaint is, it's not the fact that they've done new Daleks and they've not bothered with it. It's that they're not allowed them to have the potential to do anything with them. The, the only good thing that been been done recently was Into the Dalek. Hmm. That was in, the, that was interesting. Yeah, that's a good story. But like I said, it's just these new Daleks design. It's like there's so much possibilities you can do with it. You can have whole episodes which just the red Daleks maybe controlled by the blue ones, or I have said about the about the Eternal Dalek, the yellow one. I mean, there's so many nice little things you can do with it, and you can mess around with some of the ideas of the Daleks. Maybe one gets more. Just sorry. You know, the idea of it being they there's a class system, maybe there'll be a class war. I mean, to be honest, here's the thing. We already had, not, we, we had a Dalek war as well, that, and that was a fucking good episode. Well, yeah, episodes, I mean, it, anyway. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. In Asylum of the Daleks, we get to see that the gold Daleks and these new ones are more or less together. So the idea is, like, why don't we see, like, a fraction war with the two? It's like, why don't some of the gold Daleks fight off these new ones? Like, there's some sort of racial war. Because I'm not saying get rid of the gold dogs completely or anything, but it it just gives you something at least more interesting to look at. And like I said, I've got nothing against the redesign of the Daleks. I mean, everything that's there is still a Dalek. It's not like I go, oh, it's completely gone off mark. It's like, no, it's still a Dalek. 